Hello and welcome back. Hey, my name's C. Scott, and I'm glad you all can join me today. Uh, today we are back again on Sky Factory 3. So, uh, cool. If this is your first time here, then I apologize, because today's video is going to kind of be an update from what we've con what we finished over um, the weekend. We did two live streams over the weekend, and kind of, since then, what we've done. There's not going to be a lot of, you know technical stuff today with what we've got going on but just kind of give you guys a rundown and, and kind of maybe a plan forward for where we're going but uh, we quickly will come out here to our main island here uh, that's in our sky factory uh, again hey whoa what happened here we've got some serious lightning that's been happening and it's been taking down all our trees that sucks <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah but we finished this out. Uh, this is a little RF tools or RF dimension building inside here. So we've got the ability to get to RF dimensions in there. And so we're working that. Um, the tree farm is kicking up good. Willie's huge reactor is, is killing it over here. And again, we haven't done anything down here. But since we're down here, I think that I've figured out what we want to do over here. So you guys know we've discussed we're going to do reborn storage, uh, you know, crafters here. But in here, we've kind of have the ability to do some, uh, again, quantum storage units. It's kind of the, the way it might be laid out. But what about if we do, let's look at these here. Let me show you guys these things. And maybe we'll see if Willie's good with it too. Quantum. There we go quantum tanks how about tanks we put lava we put water we put all that junk in there how about we do that you know again that's just taking it to the next level right so that's kind of what we've got down here uh, we have not done any more blood magic since we last uh, got together uh, specifically over the weekend so we are still currently at a tier 4 blood altar but the plan for this is going to be is we're going to take this main blood altar with the will, well of suffering underneath it and we're gonna we're gonna pull all the LP out of it or the life essence and then we're gonna put it into a barrel <laughs> and actually not really a barrel but what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this and we're gonna have two three total altars here and I'm gonna make three total tier 4 altars one for Willie one for myself and one to supply us both so that we don't have to worry about any of that and then we're gonna we'll create a nice cool looking you know floating island that this all sits on so uh, so we'll do something like that around here all right so now that we've finished that uh, we'll get working on that one here soon so uh, yeah it'll be good um, but yes yeah, so some of the other things you may see I've done a greenhouse so w when we left we had this this and this growing crops and if you guys remember this right here was growing rice which was turned into paper and I mean check this out we've got 64,000 pieces of paper more than we're ever going to need right so I said forget it let's get rid of it and let's start something new and Willie's got all these cool inferior essence crops and different all this great stuff so I was like well why don't we just build him another area that he can do that in so I, we went and I went and put this together for him so he's got another four bays to fill out with whatever the heck he wants um, and then down underneath here I went ahead and just kind of created this up so that we can come down here and put the growth accelerators down here too so yep yep nothing nothing too exciting uh, a little clear light blue stain and then I wanted to do this orange. I, I don't know why, but just kind of, kind of jumped out at me. Um, so pretty cool. Um, the empowerer. Okay, so on the top of this, you'll see that we've got greenhouse glass, right? Yeah. Well, greenhouse glass takes uh, these empowered uh, crystal blocks. You, you guys pronounce that how? Palis, palis, or I'm gonna call it palis. Okay. It takes those. Well, you guys can see there's a lot of those there. It's taken, this is three stacks of those crystals right there. Um, and I, you know, guys, I'm lazy. So I went ahead and I automated our empowerer. Okay, and I can show you what we did with it. So you got a chest, you drop everything in there. And then underneath here, it, we just got basically item filters that are 
in here. So with a basic filter, uh, this puts a cyan dye in here. Uh, this one's an in and out where it takes the, the Payless Crystal in and then it pulls out the empowered Payless Crystal uh, when it's done. So, and then these here are nothing more than the Prismarine shards. So yeah, 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 just a real simple, um, but it, it has saved me a ton of time of having to sit there and do that. I, I, I got to doing that and I was pretty frustrated. I was like, man, oh man. But probably the two of the bigger things we've done is if you'll notice, there's nothing out here anymore. So where did our, uh, where did our void ore miner and void resource miner go? Cause I'll tell you something. They still kicking. Look at this. That's the void ore miner. That's the void resource miner. Everything's kicking still, right? Well, I put them in a building over here. I kind of got bored. And so they now have their own cool building here. And voila, there's our void ore miner and there's our resource miner. Yeah, so pretty cool. I just I just got bored and got to got working busy this over the last couple hours and thought I'd put together this nice build here. Oh, by the way, two tier three solar arrays up there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. <laughs> so <laughs> a little bit overkill. But yeah, so just something I got bored. Um, and we kind of landscape some some additional stuff here. Nothing, nothing real exciting. Some snow, but but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what we've I've worked on since the the live stream, uh, which was early this morning. You're just kind of cleaning stuff up. It's nothing too exciting, and it's not it ain't sexy, but it's 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 getting things done that we needed to. So the next job is going to be to work with Willie and we're going to come through here and we'll, we'll remove all of this. And then we can close off the rest of this greenhouse here and we'll put everything underneath. So this just kind of, I think kind of the kind of a real simple greenhouse. Um, but then we'll pull this all the way over and these can go underneath and we've got all the room underneath, uh, which we just showed you that we can, we can actually get all that, uh, nice and purdy and, and not having to worry about it. So, yeah. And then the last thing, um, we did was, um, if you'll note, if you remember, if you, sh if you were in the live stream, uh, one of the things that we ran into issues with was dimlet parcels. Okay. So, uh, these dimlet parcels right here. Um, we had a total of 31 when I came on and the, the issue is, is that when we went to all these different dimensions, they don't create those cool buildings that you can go and get dimlets from or parcels of dimlets and, and, and whatnot. So we're thinking that we need to kill some Enderman. And during the live stream, we set up a grinder and we had the Enderman going and it and it worked for a while, but we got zero and I'm talking zero Dimlet parcels out of that thing. So, and it was, it was, it was crap. If you got a chance, go back and check out that video on, on that. Um, it's a live stream. It's, it's, it's fairly long. It's about an hour. I think we're, it's about three quarters of the way through that, that we actually get moving on it. But we set up an Enderman farm in the nether, right? And it was just right back over here. Um, I went online and I researched as much as I could efficient Enderman farms. Okay. And, uh, I will link the gentleman's, uh, tutorial that I got this from. Um, but this is, this is cool. All right. Uh, he, he did it in just straight vanilla. And so you'd use a, a sword down here with sweeping edge and luck and blah, 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 blah. But we're not in vanilla. We're in modded, right? So what, what I've done here is set a mechanical user up in here, thrown in a manulum cobalt cleaver that's got luck three and beheading two on it. And it's just about to reach the threshold of the modifiers for, of five, which we can then make it unbreaking or unbreakable. And that just, that'll, that'll sh slack those Endermans right there, right? And then anything that catches will bring them in, into here. Um, and then Essence comes into to this, which gets plugged back into our system. 
but really it's a fairly simple setup and and by all means go check out his video because it's he, he does a heck of a job of discussing it and this thing's really really efficient uh, the biggest thing is is make sure that you're 128 blocks away from the, the closest thing that they can spawn on and go to town we are if you are going to build this be very careful by doing it we are down at z level zero and that's what he says is go down as far as you can so i am i was very very nervous when doing this because watch if you come just a little bit lower you're in the void <laughs> and and that made me really really nervous all right so but yeah go check out his video it, it's it's really really good uh it's all built off of an endermite here that, that you got to put into here and and he goes spastic and these dudes go spastic and they all come down here and and you, we just get we're getting stuff left and right not that we need ender pearls but those dimlet parcels are the ones that we're really looking for because we were, we're trying to do something cool with some rf tool dimensions you know i mean we, we gotta we gotta have something so since we were there let's see if we grabbed in if any new ones came in yep so right there we had another dimlet parcel come in so very very cool that's that seems to be working very well now um and it, when i went in we were at 375 uh, levels of xp in our system so we're getting the xp everything's working it's all kicking butt and taking names it is great it is really really good okay so one thing that i'm thinking that we could do today um and it's quick and it's not sexy again but that's kind of, I mean, I, I can't, I mean, it's not going to be today. Um, we're just, we're, you know, that was, that was, that was as much grind as I like to do. And that, and placing all these blocks down. You guys know I don't place them all down. We have these cool wands, right? But yep, that is kind of what we worked on. Um, but I think something fun to do today while we're still here is something we need is we need this enchanter. And so let's build this enchanter out real quick and we can have it. So when Willie comes back, he can see the new cool enchanter. All right. So we should be easy to go. I mean, it, it, we're, we're so OP right now with materials. It's that easy. <laughs> it's that easy take some dark steel a book and a diamond and again if you're brand new and just checking us out we've got all these chickens in here we got a dark steel chicken in here somewhere and he does nothing but just lay dark steel you know and with solarium chickens and xp chickens and terra steel chickens and prismarine shard and gold and diamond and pink and purple and we have them all we got most of them. It, 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 we, we've not run into an issue yet where we haven't had anything. So we've got this cool thing. Um, maybe, maybe we put a building back over here. That is, well, it, it's kind of getting tight back over here, isn't it? I mean, this little village is taken off, and this one that's way over there, you can't see it. That we're supposed to to have a building at is not going so but that's okay it's it's uh, it's all good so um let's just have some dirt here real quick here and this is bugging me here real quick and it's kind of shit you guys you know we ain't doing anything too too spectacular yeah we'll just kind of clean this up here yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's a little bit better yeah yeah I like that that the way and then the other thing I mean when you got that so we have Willie crafted a can a watering can to be exact that is this reinforced watering can and when it says that it a better way to water things 100% correct watch this this thing takes off come on guys what is going on all right well it's night time so guess what it's sleepy time that's what it's saying it says i don't grow at night not at all i don't grow at night fair enough grass fair enough yep now watch this <laughs> look at that that just it's it's freaky fast so okay yeah 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 so what are some of the other little things that we've kind of discussed that we need to do all right when we left off last time, we have this weather obelisk here, right? 
Absolutely. To make it sunshiny all day long, you have to pump a liquid into this, right? And that liquid happens to be called, where is it at? Oh, where is he at? Liquid sunshine. <laughs> so it takes a vat and sunflowers and glowstone. The sunflowers are going to be tough to find, I think, because it takes a whole bunch of different stuff. And really, you need to start with a poppy. And you throw the poppy in and you keep throwing it into your humana, you know, and it'll come out. So let's try that real quick. Let's see if we can get us a sunflower here. Because uh, we should have plenty of poppies. Oh, yeah, we got 52. All right, let's do 16 of those. And let's just see how this works. Okay, magnet is off. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's getting better. Oh, <laughs> Aren't they isn't that just pretty? Yeah, yeah. This I'm glad I've been saving all them them little red flowers. I don't there we go. There and there. Alright. Okay, let's what is it gonna take to make a vat? Uh where's the vat at? Not that one, not that one. Uh crafter, vacuum, nope, 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 nope. A vat. Huh, I think we can make that. I think we can. Uh, okay, one and two of those, which are fluid tanks. We need a cauldron. And, and then how about a, we'll create a furnace and a machine chassis. And we'll need a basic capacitor for that. Okay, all right, now we got a vat. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so to get our beautiful liquid sunshine that we're going to need, we need to take fire water. And guess what? who's been brewing up some fire water? <laughs> Willie's been brewing up fire water over here, and I didn't know about it until I came over here. I was like, what is all this stuff? And I went down underneath, and let's we got to go underneath here. So let's take the little elevator down. Boop. There, right there, is a whole drum. A whole drum, not full yet, because that's this this one's big. But he's got two, almost three million buckets of fire water in there. So I think that's pretty cool. And I don't know is it that is it gonna take? Is it gonna take? Do we need? Oh 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 oh! Here we go. Does that take? Yep, it takes RF. So. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think here because, well, how about we just move this over instead of messing around, let's just move over our weather obelisk and we'll take that and we can go back underneath and we will, we'll, we'll start stealing some wheelies uh, as fire water. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little fire water going underneath here. Okay, so let's set up our vat and our obelisk. We'll set the vat up right. Eh, I'd like to be able to get to the top of it. Okay, so that'll work. And then our obelisk, obelisk, our weather obelisk is right there. Okay. And let's get some fluid pipe, which we need. Uh, let's see what we got for conduit for for pipe conduit uh, ender fluid pipe that sounds beautiful doesn't it absolutely <laughs> okay and there we go so we just want to extract out of here always on and insert into there okay beautiful that's that's good there okay and then let's get some that's uh, what are we gonna need now? We're gonna need some energy conduits, and we want to use these 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 cool ones right here, the Ender Energy conduits. I'm gonna we'll connect these guys up to there, and then underneath there, we'll put the flux point. We can put our wand away because we ain't gonna need that right now. Okay, we'll turn it on to the system, 
which is our island network. True. And bang, be get a bang, bang, bang. There we go. Okay, and then we just need to run. Okay, that's taken a while because that one's taken a while too. Okay, so what we need to do is then we're gonna pull out. Uh, I wonder here. Let's. So we're coming in. Nope. 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 Uh, we'll just turn that off and we'll pull out push from the bottom okay and does this have a configuration on it it does pull nope 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 uh, I don't think that's the one I want let's see here push pull pull there we go okay and then we'll just run from underneath here Uh, come here. There we go. Okay, cool. And that one, we're going to need to tell it it's going to extract, always on. And it's going to insert, always on. And then let's just grab some glowstone. Uh, we want glowstone or do we want glowstone dust? Let's just grab glowstone. Because we have plenty of that, 12,000 of it. Okay. And we will throw into. I wonder if there's anything else you can use here. I don't think there is. All right. So let's throw in. There we go. Sweet. And hopefully that should fill up that. And we'll give it a second here. See how well this works. Oh, look, it's changing colors. That's cool. It's not as cool as some of their other animations, or their, yeah, the animations they got, but this is okay. And, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, there, look at that. Liquid sunshine. And that should make us always active. Should always now be beautiful out. Redstone, active signal. Nope, never active. Always active. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So I think that's a good thing. Yeah, that is awesome. So we're using some fire water. We made a vat. And our weather obelisk now is going, should actually keep it from raining on us, which I'm, I'm happy about. I mean, this server rains all the stinking time, all the time. And so I've been, been here busy working or something, and all of a sudden it starts raining. And you're like, man, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and you got to wait to go to bed to, to wake back up and, and everything. But all right. Hey, let me let you all go. But uh, we still got all of this to work out. And uh, But I wanted, to, I wanted to do a quick update for you all show you what we kind of accomplished over the last say 12 to 15 hours um just because uh i felt like uh it, we had there's a lot uh we'll just go ahead and drop into here as we get ready to log off our cobalt pick so that it can continue to level up i mean it's going to take a while to get to 32 but that's okay um the great thing about it is it's got that uh, copper tool rod on it, which is well established, which is also getting us XP at the same time. <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's so cool. But yeah. All right, all. Hey, you all have a great day, evening, or whatever time it is. And I do appreciate you coming out today. But uh, please, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, make sure you do share us on your on your favorite local me local uh, social media, okay? Uh, go check out Willie's uh, Willie's uh, channel because he's doing doing some cool stuff here with all of these all of these different plants. Man, I have no clue about them, so I got to get to learning. I got, I need to be taught. So, but yeah, hey y'all, again I do appreciate it, and we'll catch you all again very very soon. Mm -hmm.